Because the camera put 50 pounds on me. Lead. Lead. This mohawk ain't working out on TV. Welcome to the Chill Spot. I'm Corinne. And I'm Phyllis. Oh, I think that makes the tenth one, so we have two more personalities to go through. Yeah, I'm going to keep you guessing. Keep me guessing. Okay. Well, welcome, Phyllis, to the show. Thank you. <laughs> Always glad to be here. So today is National Custodial Workers Day and Maintenance Men. I'm glad you got that right. I know. I was practicing that. Yeah. Because I'm glad guess... Phyllis was here to help me because we all know how I pronounce it. <laughs> I was getting worried. <laughs> But these workers, um, you know, they hardly ever get recognized at right. all. And we're constantly filling out those work order slips for the maintenance, you know, um, men to come and do. And we want it done right then and there. Well, yeah, you're like, chop, chop, we need mm -hmm. this done. You don't realize they've got a, a million other things to do. That's right. And sometimes by them just getting to you first is the act of kindness for them. That's true. So if you treat them with kindness... Um, They'll return the kindness back to you. They're going to keep your call light systems working. They're going to be shoveling that snow off of the sidewalks, off of the parking lot. So that you can get in safe. Yeah. So um, reach out to them today and let them know that you do appreciate them. You appreciate their hard work. Um, and uh, just uh, take the time to recognize them. And if you are celebrating um, this day in your facility, send us some pictures. Um, I'm sure a lot of these maintenance guys would like uh, some home cooked meals brought oh, yeah. to them, oh, absolutely. you know, have some donuts or something for them. And who knows, they may even clean your windshields uh, off when the snow starts hitting coming up. There you soon. go. The nicer you are. You, what is the, what's the saying? You get more get more uh, honey with the, or no bees you get more honey. honey than you do with uh, vinegar or something um, i don't know we're really bad at this we are bad yeah. we are bad okay. at this but i mean yeah, i'm sure they would love like something home cooked like you said or just something special or even just write a personal thank you note um to let them know that they are part um they are part of the team because it it, it takes a whole village um, sometimes to raise a child and it takes a whole village to um, take care of our elders when they're in uh, facilities. So um, until uh, we come back and see you again, I don't know who's going to be with me. I don't know if it's going to be Phyllis or Ed or, well, or who else. You never know. No. We'll just, we'll just keep it quiet. Keep it, it quiet. No telling. I mean, every day when I sit down in this chair, I'm thinking, okay, who's, who's joining me today? Yeah. Well, I don't even know. <laughs> so that, that makes however many of us that don't know who's coming in. So that's true. So, um, you ready? I'm ready. Remember you, you matter. matter.